and welcome back to Dino Pet. So today will probably be the last episode. It probably won't be forever because I'm planning on doing maybe a catch up in the future but there's a big reason why this is going to be the last episode. So as you can see this is a Dino Pet and you may notice he's a little bit empty. The entire top has nothing in. Now basically, if you remember I had the Dino Pet and the Test Tube. Well I thought a really good idea would be to actually get a light bulb to put the dinos in. I kind of like the concept that there's a light from nature rather than electricity but it's in a light bulb. It was a really nice concept. So the other day I got this salt and pepper shaker and in order to block off the hole at the top where obviously the salt and pepper would come out I use some marine safe sealant so it'd be safe for the dinos and it will prevent any water leaking so I emptied out the dino pet I actually took quite a bit now the reason I did this is because the dino pet was pretty full up and it was very difficult to open and add food to which I really needed to do because the dino pet really wasn't glowing up as much anymore so I was like I need to feed this so I need to empty quite a bit out so I did, and the first night it looked awesome, like it was glowing up, the light bulb was brilliant, I thought okay the next day I'm going to actually film this. So the next day came, and it didn't glow up. Now I don't know if you've ever stood in a pitch black room shaking a light bulb full of liquid around <laughs> and nothing happens, it's rather sad. <laughs> So this is actually the light bulb that has the dinos in and what I think has happened is I think it reacted badly to the sealant. I thought it would be safe because you use it in aquariums and everything. I used it in my terrariums, it doesn't harm the plants, the animals, it's perfect. But they just died. The other thing it could be is maybe there was something in the glass and I should have swished it out with some of the dino food. But yes, um, it didn't go well and I was actually genuinely quite sad about that because it looked really cool. I obviously didn't want to kill them and now I have to kind of wait for a lot of the dinos to reproduce so I can actually try to start another culture again. And I've actually got a few different containers to put the new cultures in so I was really excited to do that but it's going to take some time to build the numbers up again. So obviously I have the light bulb which I would like to use in the future but as you can see I put cling film in here and I think cling film, some people call it saran wrap, this is safe, I've used this in the test tube and it was safe, I should have probably done that instead of sealant but maybe next time if I do use it I'll use this. So we have our light bulb, sorry I just made my dinosaur out there, we have the dino pet, I also bought <laughs> this little um, Kilna Mason jar I think it's called. Because the Dino Pet has a name I've named them all. So this is called Bubble Chip and then I have a gin bottle, another Kilna one and this one is called Moonshine. <laughs> it's kind of weird but you know I just like to name things. And this one is my favourite. This is probably the most expensive and <laughs> I just really really wanted it for the dinos. And I call this one the Devil's Nectar. And it's a little decanter, it's like a vintage style one. And it reminds me of like a potion bottle. And I imagine if you had dinos for children, at like your children or something, and you had like a old potion bottle and you could kind of convince them like this is magic, look at this at night, like that'd be so cool. Unfortunately, the only person it impresses is me. But you know. <laughs> so these are all my like plans of things I wanna like maybe use the dinos in, maybe I'll use them for storage or other things but I definitely want to use this potion bottle for this and I thought the different shape of this gin bottle would be really cool so I had all good plans for this but just due to the fact that a lot of them died we have to wait for the populations to grow and they will like double each week so it will take a little bit of time but I do have some more dino food so that's good so I just put this here but yeah guys if you're interested in this obviously you can find it on Amazon but also biopop.com they're like incredibly helpful and they've kind of made the series possible so thank you to them. Before I go though I want to tell you a quick story about the beach footage. I was running down the 
beach to set up my camera and everything so we can get sunset. I was going right down really quickly. And because I was running with the dino, obviously all the dino, well, I was running with the dino pets, all the dinos were everywhere. So when it finally settled in the first clip of the sunset, you could see them all just... I think they go to the bottom of it, or they rise up, I can't remember now. But you can see them all move. And some people said they could spot it when I was filming on the grass in the sun, so that was pretty cool. And then last night, I had like a disco light thing out, and I was shining it through, and you can also see some of the dinos in that too, so it's kind of cool. This week's definitely been more of collecting things to put the dino pets in, and um, just experimenting with the actual shape of the tank because it's actually quite interesting what you can do with it. But I hope you've enjoyed the series. I'm sorry that not too much has happened in this video. It is kind of difficult with a dino pet, but I hope to do an update in the future where I can show you guys how everything's getting on. And yeah, once again, if you're interested in this, check out biopop.com. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and goodbye.